That's right guys, the GoPole action camera case or accessory case, whatever you want to use it for. I'm going to do a quick review on it and overview, give an idea if it's going to work out for you. Thanks for checking back in. Ryan Erlacher here, lawabidingbiker.com. All right, guys, so I travel a lot on my motorcycle and I need to pack light. So I've tested different cases over time for my documentary gear, my film and audio gear and stuff like that. This is a solid little case. If you wanna get hooked up with it, you appreciate this video, affiliate links in the description below. No additional cost to you. I get a small kickback if you click through and make a purchase if you appreciate this video. All right, guys, so I've already got some gear loaded up in, in here. So I'm gonna give you an idea of the size. Um, I do like this case. It's kind of a fabric outer, so to speak. Um, I would say you're gonna offer some uh, water resistance, protection, rain, and things like that. I wouldn't submerge it. Of course, it's not waterproof or anything like that. It's got a nice carry handle right on the back here, and it's stitched very well. I'm pulling very, very hard right now, so it's it's definitely built solid. It's not cheap. They, they took the time to stitch it. It's got a little loop of some sort if you want to put a D-ring on it or something like that, a little fabric loop. But uh, again, Good little case. It's got a kind of a watery or watery rubbery bottom, I should say. Um, and I think that's in case you set it on something wet again, just offering a little bit of protection there. All right, let's go ahead and open it up. One zipper goes all the way around and the zippers seem very solid too. I haven't had any problem with that. I've had it for just a little while and I've got it stuffed pretty full. Um, zips all the way around to the sides. Of course, the other part is the hinge part. So what I have in here, is uh, quite a quite a bit of stuff, and so this should give you an idea of the size. I've got two GoPros, and it's got little fabric or uh, little elastic straps if you want to strap your GoPros in there. So I've got these two GoPros um, with mounts on them, ready to go on my motorcycle and helmets and different things, depending on what I'm doing. This one's got the mount on it too, so plenty big uh, pockets there, and I'll just leave them right on top. I just wanted to show you that there are those elastic straps if you're worried about stuff bouncing around. Over here, I've just got, uh, I just threw gear in here. I, it depends what I'm doing, what gear I carry, but just a Gorilla Pod and an iPhone holder for iPhone stuff. Um, you can see I've got a remote down here, microphones. I've got a couple different microphones, um, another iPhone mount and a cloth and a microphone conversion. Um, anyways, multiple different items down in there and had no problem fitting all that in there. Then up here, um, Nice, it's got two, uh, uh, z not zippered pocket, but open elastic type mesh pockets. It's got some memory cards, got a charger for my remote, wrist remote, which is right down here. And then a couple more mounts. Um, one of these, I think they break sometimes, and then an extra helmet, uh, sticky mount. Then it's got a nice pocket here, right there. Again, the zipper seems quality. Everything seems really quality. And down in there, I've just got a bunch of plethora of GoPro batteries ready to go. Um, you could fit more stuff in here. Oftentimes I take my GoPro battery charger and things like that, but it gives you a little room. There you go, that gives you an idea uh, of the size. Let me give you a better idea of the size. And the only thing I can think to compare it to that everybody out there kind of knows is a, is a uh, DSLR standard bag. So there's a DSLR for my DSLR camera and you can fit multiple lenses. Everybody's pretty familiar with these typical Canon DSLR bags. So this can give you somewhat of a size comparison. So standing up like that, definitely narrower, about the same height standing up this way as this case. And then if we flip it down, you can see the difference there. Um, definitely a lot height and width difference. But in some way, hopefully that gives you a little bit idea because it's hard to tell in the pictures when I was buying it. That's what I was concerned about. So um, you may have the same concerns and that'll give you an idea of the size of this thing, guys. All right, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Ton of videos in the works for you guys. Like it, share it with all your friends. Don't forget to check out the weekly Law Abiding Biker podcast. Also, I had did another case video. I want you to check out an action cam. Hang on. That is the Supremi case. You may see these online. I'm going to pop a card right up about there with a link to that video. It's a free review video. Quite a bit bigger case, um, a lot more sturdy. You can see it's thicker too. And I do a full review and overview on this case. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.